up guys, Trizzle here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video. Now, what I have for you guys is the full guide for the week nine challenges. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to complete them and get them done as fast as possible, as well as we're gonna be showing you guys the treasure map locations, all the taco shop locations, and much more. So stay tuned for all of that. And also, before we get started, if this video does help you guys out and you want another one for week 10, comment it below, drop a like on this video, let us know, and we will do another one for you guys. But we are uploading these challenges a little bit earlier than usual so fortnite might switch it up on us last second and change one of these challenges so if that does happen we will update you guys in the comment section but these are most likely all of the challenges here they're going to be pretty much solid so now for the very first challenge that we have for this week is deal damage with explosive weapons to opponents and you're going to want to deal 500 damage to complete the whole thing and you'll get five stars for doing so but with this challenge it's really not all that hard i mean especially if you were to get lucky enough to get an rpg or a grenade launcher it will make it a lot easier for you guys but if you're not as lucky as i am follow these tips that i'm about to give you tip number one make sure you go into squads or you go into duos whether you're playing with friends or whether you're not i would definitely recommend you do and the main reason is because first off grenades are the most common thing ever in fortnite you're probably gonna find them in the very first building that you start looting and if i were you i would collect as much of those as possible because they will help you guys immensely with this challenge and what i would recommend is you go out you just look for people you find someone shoot them down with whatever weapon you can whether it's an ar a shotgun anything just make sure you get the kill and once they get knocked down run over to them trap them in a one by one and then throw a grenade and that will be easily the fastest way to do it and you can do this all the way up until you get lucky enough to get an rpg or a grenade launcher where all you got to do is just go ham with those and then you'll probably uh end up doing the rest of the damage but it's not too hard to complete this challenge it's actually very easy so don't worry about this one way too much unless you know uh you can never find a grenade which i doubt will happen but anyways let's go on to the next challenge that we have here is use a shopping cart now this challenge is pretty much straightforward i really don't have to give you guys any tips other than i'm going to show you guys all of the locations i'll show you guys an image of the map and these are pretty much where all of the shopping cart locations are at now the shopping cart was taken out of the game for some time and then it was re-added so it's just been having this back and forth thing but as of right now in the game the shopping cart is a thing so this challenge will most likely be happening it's going to be very easy to complete just follow the map and go grab a shopping cart use it for like two seconds and the challenge should be good now for the next challenge that we're gonna go on to is shotgun eliminations this one right here is honestly very easy i'm pretty sure 80 percent of the gunfights you get into you're probably gonna use a shotgun at some point so this challenge is pretty much straightforward you just go in go hard if i were you guys i would recommend you use a pump and attack that combination really works out for me if you use a pump you miss swap to the tag and then just spray it down and then you'll probably end up getting kills or or if you have really good accuracy, you could double pump and that will help you out as well. But this challenge is pretty easy. I would recommend you do this one in solo so you don't have to worry about, you know, not ending up finishing someone and you knock them down and then someone else will kill you before you get the kill. So if you guys just go solo, go somewhere like Tilted Towers where you know there's going to be a lot of people and then you can go ham. And then at the same time while you're working on other challenges, this one will probably end up being completed without you even honestly noticing. So that brings me on to the next challenge that we have here and that is a eliminate opponents in anarchy acres so this challenge as well you're gonna have to kill three people and this one once again i recommend you go souls you can do the shotgun one and the uh anarchy acre one together i mean it'll probably help you out but for anarchy acres here is how i would recommend you play this out for one go to solo so as i said earlier you don't have to worry about anyone getting knocked down or someone else stealing your kill or whatever so go solos and the thing is is it depends on how fast you are to get there so if you see yourself landing and you're one of the first people there you know you you turn around and you see like a bunch of people coming in go to the main house if you land at the main house chances are a bunch of other people are gonna follow you and when they follow you chances are they're not gonna pick up the weapons and you're gonna get them first and they will be completely you know vulnerable to your attacks and you'll be able to kill them without pretty much anyone trying and you'll be able to complete this challenge very easily now the thing is is also you may not be as lucky and you might be one of those last people that are gonna land there so if you see yourself you know you're not about to make it you're probably not gonna end up getting a weapon what I would recommend you do is land somewhere near Anarchy. Maybe, for example, land at the motels. Over there, there's decent loot. You can go grab it. It's not even really that far from Anarchy. You go ahead, grab it, and then you get ready, you know, potion up if there are potions, and then you go into Anarchy and then just go ham on whoever's left there. But it should take you anywhere from one to three games depending on your skill. So it's not a challenge that you're going to spend too much time on. Now let's go on to a challenge that's probably going to be much harder than the rest, and that is search chests in Moisty Mire. You're going to have to search seven different 
different chests and honestly these types of challenges right here are very irritating so what i'm gonna do to help you guys is i'm gonna show you guys all of the different chest locations in moisty mire so you have an upper advantage uh you know compared to the other people who just rush in there blindly and you know they just go for the obvious chest i'm gonna show you guys the hidden ones and all of that good stuff right now so so for the very first chest that we have at moisty it's gonna be inside of the wooden restaurant shack thing and it's gonna be right on top of the refrigerator so that's the very first one so the next chest is actually gonna be available right when you walk out that shack right behind the truck it's gonna be hidden behind these uh these two little boxes and then if you make your way down there's actually another chest really close so maybe you'll be able to grab all three of these if you're fast enough and then if you go behind the green screen there's also one at the very top not a lot of people know about this one so maybe you can land right up top there and then you can work your way down and go to the other ones and then the next one is gonna be right by the tree behind uh, the green screen and then there's also another one right across inside of the building I believe on the second story on top of uh, the table and then once you make your way down there's actually gonna be another one behind a different truck so any trucks that you find that are open from the back chances are there's gonna be a chest in there I believe there's only two here but going on to the next spot there's the tree house now the tree house is gonna have two one on the first floor and then once you work your way upstairs there's gonna be another one right there and then right after that you, that's when you can actually work your way to the outer part of moisty there's gonna be another uh, chest right there by the boat so there's a lot of different chests in this location will which will make this challenge a lot easier but if you work your way down there's this big tree that actually has three chests this is the one that I definitely recommend you go to most people are gonna go to like the set and they're just gonna be worried about that one but they won't know about this tree so if you go to this tree chances are you'll be able to get all three if you are the very first one and you're fast enough and that's like pretty much like 40% right there down for your challenge and then if you work your way down over there there's also gonna be another chest by another tree and then that is pretty much all of the different chest locations that are in moisty mire but that is pretty much it for that challenge now let's go on to the next one this one is visit different taco shops in a single match and you're gonna want to go to three different taco shops so first off I'm gonna put a map of all the locations of the taco shops right now but there are three in specific that I would recommend you definitely go to because they are the closest ones that I have been able to locate now the very first one I would recommend you start from the bottom going up in case you know the safe zone is gonna end up in the middle of the map which most likely will happen and you're gonna want to you know work your way towards the safe zone instead of out of it so the very first place that I would recommend you start off at is the uh, the big chair location I honestly don't know the exact name for it, but I'm gonna call it the big chair place and that place has a taco shop you go there loot up as much as you can and then once you do that work your way up north towards the old soccer field which is just above greasy grove so it's gonna be a little bit of a journey and if you actually get there that's gonna be the second taco shop location and that's gonna be the hardest part of the challenge to complete and then from there all you have to do is run east all the way up until tilted towers and then you run into the taco shop and your challenge should be complete now the one at tilted towers is a little bit confusing because the taco shop is sort of like stuck to the building so not a lot of people really notice it but it's gonna be sort of right by the park and I'll show you guys a clip so you guys can see exactly how it looks and that is pretty much it for that one now going on to the very last challenge that we have for week 9 is search between movie titles and this one's actually pretty simple all you have to do is head on over to risky reels once you get the risky reels you're gonna want to go on the west side of the map and look for a little uh, drive-in movie board that has movie titles it's gonna have like three different movie titles and once you locate that all you have to do is go right under it and that's where the battle star will be if you have not redeemed it already obviously it will disappear once you get it and one thing that I forgot to mention is do not leave the game after you complete any of these challenges or it will not count so make sure that someone kills you or you build all the way up and jump off or you finish the game whatever it is just make sure you don't leave the game or else the challenge will not count but anyway that is it for the guide I hope this does help you guys out if it does make sure you guys drop a like comment below if you guys want us to do another one for week 10 but anyways it's been your boy Trizzo and I'll see you guys later